The economy and development were the focus of Mexico's third and final candidates debate. The frontrunner, Andrés Manuel López Obrador, showed supreme confidence. The other candidates attacked. López said it's not his fault they're trailing far behind. During the debate, he mentioned the names of his possible cabinet officials if he wins, and said he'll salvage the North American Free Trade Agreement in talks with U.S. President. I will work to maintain NAFTA. If that's possible, it will not be the end for Mexico. Our country has many natural resources and a hardworking population. The only thing missing? and we'll have it soon, is a good government. All candidates for the Mexican presidency agree corruption is the main impediment to economic growth in Mexico. Ending corruption will require a commission to directly investigate the president of the republic. Opponents are attacking me for proposing this, but I am not afraid. In this, López Obrador's third bid for the Mexican presidency, he now appears to be moderating his stance on the economy. Still, analysts say he and Donald Trump share the idea that economic nationalism is the word. He represents those who want to stop the globalization of the Mexican economy and increase the intervention of the government in the economy, much like what happened in Mexico in the 1960s. The campaign closes on June 27, and voters will choose their next president on July 1st. While the polls give López Obrador a more 20-point lead ahead of the second-place challenger, polls also indicate that a large number of Mexican voters are still undecided. Observers say it's this group of undecided voters that is the only thing standing between López Obrador and the presidency. Frank Contreras, CGTN, Mexico City.